Hey, I wanted to share a really honest moment with you. So last night my eating was abysmal. <laughs> I ate stuff I ultimately never eat. I went way off with my eating. I ate quantities that I don't normally eat. And I just wasn't feeling myself last night. And I went to bed and I started having mom thoughts and you know, 21 I think one negative uh, in our head can spiral into many negatives. So I started thinking about how fast my kids are growing up and, you know, am I doing enough? And so it's like one negative thing spiraled into another. And I woke up this morning not wanting to work out. And I realized in that moment I could make a choice. I could show up as an adult and do the work even though I really didn't want to. I didn't feel great because of the food I ate last night. I, you know, was kind of just in that kind of sluggish place. And, and I said, you know, just show up, do the work and see how you feel after. Cut yourself some slack, do what you can do, that kind of thing. And I went and I worked out and it, and it wasn't a bad workout. It was fine. But what I realized was the difference between where I was when I would repeat yo-yo diet and cycle through is I wouldn't have done what I did this morning. I wouldn't have shown up and d did the work, right? Like went through the repetitive task of what I normally do in a week. Like I'd, one negative would have created a week of negative. It wouldn't have stopped with that one instance. So I, I'm sharing this for two reasons. One, I'm honest and I always want to be brutally honest and say sometimes I screw up and sometimes sometimes my, sometimes my eating just looks really bad um, and it doesn't happen often but it does happen and there's sometimes I beat myself up and there's sometimes I don't want to do it right like that's that's the honest reality but I've conditioned myself and created enough good habits that I woke up this morning, got my water, went to the gym, did my workout, and now I feel somewhat back to my normal self. But you have to have those habits in place long enough that you, when you have those small backslides in your thinking or your behaviors, that the habits are there and they're well established and they trip in. So when you question, should I be putting all this effort into building these habits? Sometimes those are the only things that are going to get you back on track, right? So those habits are key. That's what's going to get this derailed train back on the right track and right path. Um, and over time, those things become so ingrained in you, you, you feel awkward not doing it. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel is one, these slip ups you're having during weight loss will continue in weight maintenance and they're to be expected, right? Like they are going to happen from time to time. And two, the habits that you're establishing now are going to be the things that kick you back into where you need to be, um, you know, for, for the, for a normal week for yourself. So that way one bad night doesn't turn into a bad week. I'm just sharing this because I think it's important that in this particular industry of weight loss and fitness that we be completely transparent and say you don't have to be perfect. You're going to have those slip ups. That's just part of this process. And nobody, nobody is perfect. I don't care what they're selling or what they're saying. They have moments of weakness. They have moments where they don't do as planned. They have moments where they eat things they wish they hadn't eaten the next day, right? So pick yourself up get back to your habits. And that's what I did today. And I feel so much better. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I just wanted to share that very real moment with you. You guys have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.